As an entrepreneur and inventor, my job is to come up with an idea and make it better than anyone else. It is especially great when the idea and what is created is something that solves a problem for many people. My name is Joseph Tucker, and I'm a product developer, business owner, and a complete failure. <laughs> Calling myself a failure is not something I do lightly or in jest. I have actually failed. Many of you in this room have that same entrepreneurial mindset. However, you may be afraid of failure. Don't worry. This type of mindset is somewhat normal if you think about it. Because when growing up, we are taught, coached, and for the most part, we're expected to succeed. We were handed ribbons, stickers adorned the top of our test. We were given jobs and promotions, all based on the concept of avoiding failure. In fact, in today's society, even failures get trophies and tournaments due to the fear of failure recognition. Failure is to be avoided at all costs. It's considered shameful. So I've begun to ask myself, why do we treat failure this way? Is failing always a bad thing? What if we embraced failure? What could we learn through failure that we might not learn through success? Now, I've learned some lessons of my own through my failures, and I'd like to share a few of them with you. In short, you should get a plan, push through, and seek support from those who believe in you. Back in 2012, I was training for a marathon, and I kept facing a problem due to a lack of hydration, a common problem for athletes of all sports. I had the idea for a hands-free hydrating mouth guard, or HydraGuard, as I later coined it, now, this mouth guard can release electrolytes and carbohydrates to athletes while they remain in competition. I thought surely this product already exists, right? Well, I did my research, and it did not take me long to realize that the product that I had desired, in fact, was not available. Could I create the product that I wanted? Well, why not? Keep in mind, I had no experience in negotiating contracts or manufacturing. So in turn, I did what anyone else would do. I became very, very familiar with Google. <laughs> I studied the processes and I took engineering classes. I spent my nights on Skype talking with manufacturers across the globe, my mornings in class and my afternoons at my day job. Now I kept the schedule in pace for over a year but it did not take me long to realize that I needed to make some really big changes with that schedule. The passion for my idea, it was stronger than ever. At this point, it had com completely consumed me. This time was a pivotal period in my life when I chose to go against the grain, refuse the social norm, and create my own plan. I then decided to take that leap of faith, leave my safe job, and ultimately chase my dreams. Crazy, right? See, in the world we live in, it is easy to get trapped in the dogma of a 401k job, the benefits, and all the bells and whistles that society believes is our best route. <laughs> now, I'm not telling you to go quit, quit your job or quit school, but do not be afraid to create your own plan with the understanding that risk will be a necessary part of that plan. Next, I want to share a moment with you that is really near and dear to me. Finally, after years of hard work, the very first prototypes were finalized and shipped to my house awaiting my approval. The excitement was within reach, and it was my time. I believed all of my hard work was about to pay off. So, in true celebratory fashion, I invited my friends, my family, all over for the big reveal. I opened the plot box, I placed it in my hand, started to pull back the protective wrapping, only to see a product that was made of plaster. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was ugly. I mean it. It didn't, look, it didn't look anything like the product and technology I had envisioned. As that figurative journal faded and the big reveal revealed absolutely nothing, I felt a wave of panic spread across the room. 
Where was that rock everyone talks about hiding under? I immediately thought of the countless hours, the money, the friendships I'd sacrificed for that, that moment. Were they right? Was I crazy? Was this setback going to be my crash and burn? No. That night, I told myself that I was going to embrace this failure. I decided that I was going to learn from it and go back to the drawing board. This was my first landslide failure, and it brought me to the realization that if I continue on this journey, failures will occur and they will occur often. But I'll need to fight, push through, and react accordingly. Last year, the final product was complete, and it was a victorious moment for me and my team. But to this day, I still carry around that original ugly prototype, as it is a reminder that had I not failed and pushed through, I would not know what it's like to push innovation forward and be successful. I want a short time after, I was confronted with another obstacle, but this one I saw coming. In the beginning, I thought I needed a business partner to help me run the company and source manufacturers. However, progress wasn't being made, the partnership went sour, and the vision did not align with mine. Now, this was a moment that I realized I had failed big, really big. Was it over before I even started? How do you break up with a business partner? I had spent four years and countless hours on this project, and it was being all jeopardized right before me. However, this was my baby, and I wasn't going to let anyone take it from me. So I strategically did what was necessary, and I bought 100% of the shares back to protect the company. Today, I look at my team, family, and friends, and they all share something in common. They're the most supportive, positive people I know. And they all believe in this crazy vision. The, these three lessons, they may not be novel or revolutionary, have had huge impacts on both my successes and failures. Thomas Edison once said, many of life's failures are people who do not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Some of my most memorable moments were when I was faced with failure. Overcoming those failures makes achieving these milestones so much sweeter. When you are faced with failure or hardship in your journey, always remember not to let fear distract you from your plan. Don't let the small roadblocks cause a huge crash. Trust those who believe in your dreams. Most of all, trust yourself, even in failure, as failure is a possibility, but giving up is never an option. Thank you.